Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Um, today we're going to be cutting some uh, some soaps that we made live on Monday. Um, I had quite a few requests for us to like when we're going to get when we're going to be doing it. Um, hello, mom. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, we're we're gonna be doing some uh, some of the soaps that we cut or that we made on Monday. Uh, apparently I can't talk today either. Um, hi Susan, hi Chocha, hello, welcome. Um, when you guys are joining us, please feel free to say hello. Um, that way I know you're here. Uh, sometimes I can't see that you're here. Um, if you're wanting notifications on how, on when we're doing live videos, um, there is actually a button at the top. It should be on one of these sides somewhere. Hi Shayla, welcome. And uh, if you click that button, you can sign up to get notifications when we go live so that you don't miss out. Um, what else? My, my dogs have been a little crazy today. Hey Kaylee, welcome. Thanks for joining. My dogs have been a little crazy today, so uh, you'll have to bear with me. Um, I don't have anyone to wrangle them today. Oh, hello Ross. Hi Judy, thanks for joining. Um, so I'm really excited about these soaps. I'm so glad that you guys were able to kind of be through the whole process with it. Um, you were able to see us make the soaps and now you're going to see us cut them. So, uh, what do we have in store today? If you guys don't remember, um, we did do a uh, tea tree charcoal facial bar. Um, that one I like calling my black beauty because it is pure black. It is beautiful. Um, then we, what else do we have? We <laughs> All the dogs going crazy. Um, so, just walk with me while I let my dogs go outside. Um, what else do we have? We had a uh, one that we called English Garden, and that was the one that we made gray with uh, some purple, some white, um, some pink, I believe, and teal. The last one was teal, so I'm actually really excited to see that one. And then the last one we made was the oak bar, um, and that one was, uh, it was an apple cider oak um, smell, so that one's quite nice. Um, so if you guys like what you see, please feel free to share so then other people can see too. <laughs> this, uh, this cutting might be a little interesting for my dogs. Um, all right, so I'm going to put my phone down and then uh, we can get started. All right, so I already have my cutter set up and everything. I'm going to throw one of my dogs in a different room um, and then we can get going. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, all right, so I'm thinking, what should we get started with? Um, I'm thinking maybe we should start with the black, the black bar. Um, so this one. Look at how shiny it is on top. I'm so excited about that. So um, this one is our activated charcoal bar. Um, it is our facial bar. It's made with neem oil um, and tea tree oil. Uh, so it's really good for uh, anybody who has really sensitive skin. Um, they're, they need a little bit, um, they need a little bit, they have a little bit more of sensitive skin and they need a little bit more uh, extra love, I guess. So let's make sure that we can all see. How's that? Can we see okay? All right, so let's get cutting. So this one is uh, black all the way through, so it's uh, not the most exciting bar, which is kind of why I started with it. But it is one of the most popular bars. So there you go. That is our black bar. I don't know if you can see that. So it smells amazing. It's scented with tea tree oil, um, so it smells like tea tree. This 
one's a little bit harder than the rest of them. Some of them are, oh, didn't go through all the way. So you got a really cool swirl in this one. Um, it's not all black. It is black with a little bit of swirl. So that's the thing. Um, the nice thing about handmade soaps is that they'll always be different. Um, you never know what what's inside. And uh, so this one is a restock for one of, for uh, a bar that we're almost out of. Um, so I figured we might as well do this one again. Um, it's been really popular. Ooh, so these ones are definitely unique. It has the little swirl in the side. So anyone just recently joining us, please feel free to say hello. Otherwise, I won't know that you're here. Um, I'm just gonna move you down a little bit. I think that, there we go, that's a little bit better, I think. What do you think, can you see better? I don't like that. <laughs> there, much better. Um, I got a little tripod that I ordered online. I was like, oh yeah, these are gonna be great for when I'm doing this. It just, all it did was when I set it up, it just sh kept shaking. So I knew that that probably would cause people motion sickness. I would definitely not like to watch that video. So, um, try to try something else. So there we go. So that's our black bar. Um, okay, so let's move on to the English garden bar. So this one, I have no idea what it's going to look like inside. It's a little bit, still a little soft. Um, this is what the top looks like, if you remember this one. Let's see this there we go. So, um, I did have a little bit of trouble with this one. This has never, ever, ever happened to me before. I've had people ask me, what happens? Does it ever go wrong? Um, when we cut into this bar, I'm going to kind of see what it looks like inside to determine what could be the cause of the cracks on the top. Um, it could be a couple different things. It could be that uh, the oil that we used inside, um, it didn't jive very well and it caused it to overheat. Another thing is that um, it could be that I didn't mix my oils enough and it caused it to separate a little bit. So, um, yeah, I, we're going to see what it looks like inside. There's different ways to remedy it depending on what happens. So. Let's take a look. Um, are you, so you're asking if the, the, if you're asking what this cutter is? Is that what you're asking, Kaylee? Um, so this is just a wire. And what it does is it slices it. You think that it overheated, Shayla? Possibly, you know what? And normally I put it in the oven um, with the light on and this time I didn't put any of them with the light on. Um, I forgot to turn it on actually so it was just in the oven so I'm very, um, I was thinking it overheated too I just wasn't, I've never, I've never had it happen so um, we're just gonna be able to just, uh, it doesn't look like the cracks are too deep um, so and hopefully the design inside is still nice so let's take a look and see. So there we go. That is what it looks like inside. That teal is to die for. Um, Kaylee, the wire wouldn't break. The wire is actually quite thick. Um, so that's not something that I'm really worried about. Uh, so yeah, so that is that bar. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like that. Um, I've never used this pattern before, so I think it looks super neat, the different colors against the gray. So let's cut a couple more. Yeah, the color combo did turn out nice. I kind of wish I made the gray a little bit darker. I wasn't, I didn't want it to be too dark. Look at that, it looks super cool. No, it, it wouldn't, it's, 
My boyfriend actually made this cutter for me and uh, I'm not worried about it breaking. It's actually quite sturdy. All right. So it's kind of cool. It's like a little secret inside. Um, and the contrast against the gray actually looks quite nice. And it smells very nice. This one is very floral, so if you're not into the florals, um, I would steer clear of this one. It's not, uh, I don't know, it's not one of those fake floral smells, though, which I really like. That's why I picked this one, actually, because um, I'm not a floral person, but I do really like this one. You're right, it is a really nice gray for spring. Kind of, um, and I like that the colors kind of pop against it. So there we go. So this one, um, the technique that I used was called a, uh, um, what's the fragrance? It's called, uh, English Garden. So it's a little bit of a mix of different types of flowers. Um, now, this one was, we poured, we poured some into the, uh, Can you guys still see me? Because it's giving me a weird message. It's trying to reconnect. Can you guys see me? It's like, oh, I can. I don't want to have to cut it off, but I will if I have to. No. Okay, let's see. Is it still working? Is it working now? Because it stopped working for a second, so I just wanted to make sure that it's still working. You guys see me? I'm not hearing anything from anybody. So I don't know if you guys can see me or not. I don't want to keep cutting if you guys can't see me. No? Can you guys see me? Okay, I'm not hearing anything from anybody, so I'm going to assume that nobody nobody can. I'm sorry that it stopped working. Um, I will, uh, I'm just going to reconnect and we'll... Never mind, I guess you can still see me. Uh, just no one's answering me. My boyfriend just texted me to let me know he can still see me, so that's good. At least, uh, at least you guys can still see me, so that's important. All right, so let's try again then. Uh, yeah, no, I just got a weird message telling me that it wasn't working, so I just wanted to make sure that it was. All right, so anyways, um, this one made by pouring a little bit in, and then we put the cardboard in, that's why it's a little bit angled, and um, we poured the soap down the cardboard, and uh, then we put the soap on top, so it's kind of like a little secret inside. All right, so we still have two soaps left to cut tonight. Um, we have a... Uh... Oh, apparently people answered, and I just couldn't... I can't see the messages, so... I'm very sorry that I can't, uh, can't see them. You know what I might do, actually? I might just pull up my... Um, pull it up on my phone. Because apparently the messages aren't working, and then uh, that way I can still see them, hopefully. And I'm going to pull it up on my old phone, so you'll have to bear with me because it's very, very slow. There we go. I can see that everybody is telling me that they can see me. Apparently I can't see that on my phone, so sorry guys. I'm glad you guys texted me to let me know because I was about to turn it off. Um, Alright, so we have two more soaps left. Uh, just gonna put this down over here. Uh, what we have is the, I don't know if you guys remember this one, so we use the different, um, we use the different, uh, oh yeah, Kay, uh, Kaylee, I can actually, I can't, I can see that there's, 
um, old messages. I can still see them. I just can't see the new ones <laughs> popping up. So apparently that's something that I gotta figure out. So how cool does that one look, guys? Um, this one is the uh, this one is a really nice um, nice smell. It is an apple oak. So I tried making it kind of look like a wood grain. I figured maybe a little bit of a red would, would work really nicely for this one. Um, so this one I made it a little bit of, I made it in a flat mold. And um, so we have the dividers in them. So I'm just gonna try to push these soaps out. Sometimes it's a little difficult, so bear with me. And then these ones, I don't have to really cut um, as much as kind of pull out. There we go. So how cool does that look? So that is my wood grain soap. And it smells like apple cider and oak. I think that looks like wood grain. It looks pretty cool to me. So let's pop one more out. Here we go. I think that's wood grain. How about you guys? What do you think? Does it look a little bit like an apple oak? I love the colors. It's very apple. Um, it's probably one of the better wood grains I've actually ever made. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So that's what that one looks like. Um, do you guys want to see me pop out some berries out of a mold. Um, I made some, I had some extra batter left out of these and I made some little berries out of them. So we're gonna put those on top of other soaps. Uh, did you guys wanna see me pull them out? I'll go grab them. actually I just stick them in the freezer really quickly um, the reason that I do that is so that when I pop them out they don't um, they don't have like finger marks or anything from me pushing them out so um, I don't remember what type of berries I did to tell you the truth but uh, these are the little molds that I have there these ones are the blackberries I I don't remember what these were maybe strawberries I can't remember well we'll find out when we pop them out I guess right so these ones are um, hand, uh, they're, the mold is poured on top of actual berries. So they're, they're cast from real berries, which is actually what I think is really unique about these ones. Oh, these are strawberries. So, ugh, ugh. <laughs> you cut out for a second there. Man, I really need to, uh, I really need to uh, maybe try it not on my internet um, next time. So those are our little strawberries. Um, we can use those next time on different types of soaps. Um, so I used, these ones are the ones that, um, it was our apple oak ones. So you can see they look very realistic. What do you think of those? How are those? So um, I'm going to be making a berry soap and I would like to include those on it. What else do we have? So these ones are the blackberries. Come on out. So that's what those look like. Not the, quite the color of blackberries, but you know, it works. And then when we were making our ruby rhubarb, um, which you're actually going to see me cut next and it's gonna be interesting because I have to actually cut it with a knife and I'm not very good at cutting straight um, so we'll see how that goes but um, we use the extra whipped cream from the top to uh, make bananas so let's see how these turn out I've never used these before whoa they look like actual bananas that is so cool all right like this is really cute 
I don't know if you can see because they're supposed to be um, they're supposed to be uh, like banana slices. So I don't know if you can see like, but there's actual like grooves like a real banana in it. Can you guys see that? Okay, let's pop another one out. Man, it looks like I actually cut a banana and this is what turned out. Like how cool is that? Like it has little grooves. It's hard to see, it's all white, but, but yeah, so that's what the banana one looks like. All right, so the last one is the one that I'm nervous to cut because, like I said, I'm not very good with a knife. Um, last time I used this giant knife, uh, I cut my finger open, so <laughs> fingers crossed that that doesn't happen again. So this is our ruby rhubarb, and oh my goodness, does it ever smell good. Um, it has little whipped cream dollops on top, and then you can see that it has the crust and then the rhubarb. And it smells absolutely delicious. Uh, I'm really excited. I've never made any type of, I've never made a cake soap like this before. Oh, I forgot to grab a cutting board. Hold on, sorry. Okay, so we got our cutting board. We got our soap. And we have my giant knife. This is a very, very, very sharp knife, so. <laughs> um, I got this specifically to cut this type of soap. Um, the last time I cut it, I, I used it, I accidentally cut myself with it. So fingers crossed I don't do that again. Oh, that's a good idea. Shayla's saying that I should put the banana in my hand. Does that, can, can you see? My lighting is terrible in here. So it's, it's <laughs> not really working. Um, but I'll, I'll take pictures and then you guys can see it there. Okay, so let us cut this soap. Um, I want it to be evenly cut. Uh, let's see, how did I do this? Well, I guess the best way to just do it. So let's just do it, okay? So this is gonna be definitely a spectacle watching me do this, so. Um, last time I cut it, I had to, uh, I had to put in a lot of weight on it. So yes, I am climbing on top of my table. All right, I'm so excited to see what this looks like inside. Yeah, it is not easy to go through. There we go. Whew. All right, so that's what it looks like inside. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I'm really excited about this one. This turned out a lot better than I had thought it would, considering I'd never done it before. Okay, let's cut it again. And Okay, so we're gonna cut this one in half. I'm trying to figure out the best way to cut this, so I'm you don't want to see me cut cakes, because I'm like I'm, I'm not very good at it. Um, <laughs> Alright. So I believe that's a half. My knife is stuck to the cutting board. There we go. Ooh, so it's almost in slices. All right. Okay. Now we'll cut these in half.
Well, you know, they're not entirely even, but I guess that's the point of handmade, right? <laughs> Um, you're not going to get perfect. So there we go. That is my little rhubarb piece of pie. Oh, it looks so delicious. And it smells super good. So these are um, kind of like half and half once again. There's walnut shells and the, uh, the oatmeal in it. So it'll be a little bit scrubby. And then you have the other half that's not. Mm -hmm. um, so these are super pretty, but... Please use them, I promise I'll make more, because uh, that's what I make them for. I want you guys to use them. Um, I make sure that they're aesthetically pleasing, but they actually work very nicely as well on the skin. So, What do you guys think? This is the one I was the most excited about. Okay, we'll cut. The last part. How cool is this knife? I think it's super neat. I actually got it on Amazon. Um, and I was like, that would be way easier to get, get it through than using a knife. Here we go. So that is what that looks like. I've never made a dessert soap before, so I'm very excited about these. Um, something different, something outside the box. So there we go. Ooh, there's little bits everywhere. So that is our nice piece of pie. Alright, well. I don't really have anything else to cut tonight. We cut all of our soaps that we made. It goes by so quickly, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I know it's the best cheese knife. I saw somebody on YouTube using it and I was like, I need me one of those guys. So um, for all of you watching, if you haven't entered our giveaway, our deadline is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, and there we go. This is what we're going to be giving away. Uh, one of these bars. So check out our page um, for how you can enter to win them. Uh, the deadline is, again, tomorrow at 6 p.m. So uh, good luck, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I am so happy that everyone was so excited to see them today. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be seeing you soon. We'll make some more soap together, and then we'll cut them. So thanks again. Uh, have a great night, guys.